From manufacturing to distribution of goods and services, the need for massive commercial facilities continues to grow. Perhaps due to changes in consumer habits, where goods are expected to be readily available and delivered to them quickly upon placing an order. It is no wonder that mega-sized warehouses are required to accommodate the requirement of customers. Warehouse space is vital in ensuring supply chains run smoothly, and Amazon has not disappointed us with this. In fact, no one does it better than Amazon. Amazon, the biggest world retailer, is very popular and better than ever at giving people what they want, quickly. Amazon has transformed online shopping by making the delivery process fast, cheap, and relatively painless for consumers. One major way Amazon has achieved this goal is by building out a sprawling network of warehouses worldwide. Amazon operates hundreds of world-class facilities in cities and communities worldwide to get customers what they need efficiently. Now, let's take a look at the inside of Amazon's biggest warehouse. Amazon Warehouse, also known as a fulfillment center, is a unique 21st century creation, a vast, networked intelligent engine for satiating consumer desire. Amazon launched its warehouse network in 1997, starting with two fulfillment centers in Seattle, Washington and Newcastle, Delaware. Within the last two decades, Amazon fulfillment centers have popped up in almost every corner of the US, as well as across the globe, as the company has pushed to bring items closer to customers to enable faster deliveries. Amazon warehouses store products and serve as distribution centers where workers pick, pack, and ship orders quickly and efficiently. Amazon robotics, scanning machine, and computer systems in fulfillment centers can track millions of items in a day. The fulfillment center is the anchor of Amazon's physical operations, the brick and mortar behind the virtual button you tap on your phone to summon clothes, bags, shoes, a garden hose, or cards. Through the engineering of its fulfillment centers, Amazon has built the world's most nimble infrastructure for the transfer of things, a logistics platform that dramatically amplifies any one person's ability to move the matter to anyone else. Out of the many fulfillment centers or distribution centers operated by Amazon, its facility at Tilbury, just outside London, is the company's largest, which stretches at 2 million square feet or 186,000 square meters. As with all Amazon fulfillment centers, the LCY2 facility is named after the closest airport with the number 2, meaning it is the second to be built near London City. This fulfillment center is made up of the state-of-the-art technology. As the biggest and most advanced warehouse, it is home to thousands of robots that navigate the aisles using the QR codes on the floor, helping human workers pick items ready for dispatch. The huge structure sits in a massive space surrounded by parking lots. Inside, a vast web of conveyor belts crisscross the building, moving between areas where workers stow products in robotic shelves and areas where workers pick up the items from the shelves. There are also workstations where people package the items for shipping. Much of the building naturally have little human interaction because the work areas are spaced so far apart. The warehouse has various centers, buildings, and facilities divided by functions, allowing Amazon to support and fulfill orders for products as big as a canoe or a hot tub, or as quirky as a five-pound gummy bear Halloween costume for your pet. The facility is divided, starting with the sortable fulfillment center, where employees pick and pack customer orders such as books, toys, and housewares. Thanks to the innovations of Amazon Robotics, workers often work alongside robots to help create a more efficient process to meet up customers' demands. The non-sortable fulfillment center is another center where employees pick and pack bulky or larger sized customer items, such as patio furniture, outdoor equipment, or rugs. The next is the sortation center, where employees sort customer orders by final destination and consolidate them onto trucks for faster delivery. The receiving center is another part of the fulfillment center, where Amazon supports customer fulfillment by taking in large orders of the types of inventory that were expected to quickly sell and allocating them to fulfillment centers within the network. Another interesting part of the warehouse is the specialty center, where specific categories of items are pressed into service at peak times of the year, such as the holiday season. Delivery stations are, of course, an important section of the supply chain. In these buildings, customer orders are prepared for last mile delivery to customers. Amazon delivery providers enable fast, standard shipping. So, how do the fulfillment centers work from receiving orders to picking items required, packaging, and delivery? At Amazon warehouses today, before a worker places something on a shelf, he or she uses a scanner to scan a barcode on both the product and the shelf. The process allows the computer to keep track of where every item is located. For example, let's say C-Clear is a company that produces mirrors. C-Clear ships its mirrors to Amazon, and the company distributes them across its network of fulfillment centers. 
at an Amazon fulfillment center, inbounding is nearly as important a process as shipping orders out. Trucks arrive with boxes of goods that workers open, scan, and put into totes. Conveyors route the totes to different parts of the warehouse, where the other workers unload them, scan them again, and then scan the barcode on the shelf of where they're stored. Now the fulfillment center knows where to find the Sea Clear mirror or anything else when a customer places an order. Amazon workers in robot-equipped warehouses don't need to bring the items to the shelves for stocking. The robots bring the shelves to them. Amazon robots aren't humanoid robots, rather they're small box-like machines that pick up the shelves and move them along a grid, shuffling other shelves within the grid to make way for whichever shelf the computer system says contains available space. As with non-robotized warehouses, the workers scan the item, place it on one of the shelves, wherever there's free space, and scan the shelf, so the computer knows where the item is located. Every order funneled from Amazon's website is relayed to a handheld scanner, or pick mods, carried by all workers in the warehouse. The scanners direct the workers to the shelves where the ordered items are stored. The item is picked, scanned, and then placed into a tote, which is also scanned. When a tote is filled, it travels along a conveyor system made up of ramps, long straightways, and towering corkscrews to get prepped for shipping back out into the world. So, when the tote arrives at one of the many pre-packing stations, the workers will sort the items into small slots on tall wheeled shelves. Each slot represents an individual order. Those shelves are then rolled into packaging stations, where another worker packages orders into cardboard boxes, which should be familiar to anyone who has ordered goods from Amazon. Once packed, Boxes head down another belt beneath a labeling machine. The labeling machine then prints and sticks mailing labels in one swoop onto the box. Now sealed and stamped, orders are shunted down their final chutes to await loading onto trucks. Loading the packaged order into a delivery truck is a Tetris-like task that involves packing the boxes as fast and straight as possible for delivery to UPS, FedEx, or any other shippers. The company is building its cargo airline and has been experimenting with drones worldwide both efforts that have attracted tech enthusiasts' attention. Even though technology helps make the world better and faster, the key to all these processes lies at the warehouse. Amazon's strategy rests on a simple decision to leave stuff wherever there's free space and recording it. The idea of building large warehouses and backing it up with amazing technology gives Amazon a maximum advantage over its major retail rivals, none of which were founded as tech companies first. At the same time, no other tech rival, not Google, Apple, Facebook, or Microsoft can touch Amazon's physical and logistical advantage in retail, and nobody would be able to anytime soon. Amazon's warehouses are designed to be wish-fulfillment machines, calibrated to supply consumer wants and orders with aggressive speed and precision at a scale that has yet to find its limit. Amazon Warehouses or Fulfillment Network is like a giant robot, and utilizing the Fulfillment Network takes a lot of the heavy load off our backs. That's it guys, what do you think about Amazon's warehouse, or the wish-fulfilling machine? What do you think about the future of this company in the years to come? Let us hear your views or opinions via the comment section, we'll be glad to hear from you. Please, do not subscribe unless you are into tech, because that is what this channel is about. Now, let's watch another fantastic video from our channel. I'll meet you there.